Uniswap, the leader in DeFi, wants to transform the conventional DEX with its automated liquidity protocol. This implies that Uniswap can simultaneously address liquidity concerns and enable token exchange without depending on the traditional architecture of an order book method. So, let's start with what is Uniswap. An open source protocol developed on top of the Ethereum blockchain is known as Uniswap. It is a superb way to streamline ERC-20 token swaps without the need for centralized intermediaries. This implies that users are independent of any centralized resources and can manage their money as they see fit. However, these decentralized exchanges were unable to gain traction with liquidity providers due to a lack of liquidity, such as insufficient funds moving through the platforms. Nevertheless, Uniswap differs from the others in that it sets prices without using an order book. Rather, the protocol operates according to an equation in which the pool's total liquidity never changes. Additionally, for the model to function, liquidity providers must build a pool of liquidity to support decentralized lending and trading. ERC-20 tokens can be listed and swapped without the need for an order book. Okay, now let's look how exactly does Uniswap work. Vitalik Buterin's concept of the on-chain automated market maker, or in short AMM, served as the model for the Uniswap protocol. Constant product market maker model, a version of the AMM system that maintains liquidity pools for users to trade against, is the primary pricing mechanism used by Uniswap. Liquidity pools and an upgraded version, Uniswap V2, was unveiled in May 2020, while V2 employs wrapped Ether and core contracts to allow users to pool ERC-20 tokens directly with any other token, its predecessor, V1, allowed users to swap between either and a single ERC-20 token. The launch of Uniswap V3 in 2021 came next, giving liquidity providers access to concentrated liquidity in several fee tiers so they could more effectively manage their capital and earn more fees in the process. Now let's examine how does Uniswap make money. In the past, Uniswap was not profitable from trades, end user fees, or any other methods that are typically used in the blockchain industry. Liquidity providers receive payment from users in the form of fees. 0.3% of all transaction fees collected by the pool contract on a transaction are given to these liquidity providers. On the other hand, the charge is determined in accordance with each provider's share. For instance, a provider receives 20% of the fees collected if they contribute 20% to the liquidity pool. The fee switch proposal, which was overwhelmingly supported by uni holders, has changed this. To test out the fee switch proposal, Uniswap is currently conducting a pilot program with specific liquidity pools. A 10% fee is charged, and the money gained from this pilot test will stay in the treasury until uni holders decide how to divide the money. Finally, let's describe what is the purpose of Uniswap token. Uniswap launched Uni, its governance token in September 2020. The major objective is to give end users more ownership and governance rights in order to further increase the protocol's decentralization. The main objective of the Uni token is to give holders the ability to vote on various changes and proposals to advance the platform's development. It gives users' treasury a better safeguarding concept in addition to boosting public confidence in the Uniswap protocol. The network contains 1 billion Uni tokens in total. 60% of all tokens will go to Uniswap community members. As a token of gratitude to previous users, 15% of the total supply was given to them. The remaining 40% will be distributed over the course of the next four years to the Uniswap team, staff, advisors, and investors. So, that's the end of this video. Now, if you have found the content helpful, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.